people, for immigrants in this country, for LGBTQIA communities. It is about survival for our communities. When the right is trying to roll back voter rights, they don't want you to go to the polls. We know why they don't want us to go to the polls, because they know that we will vote for justice and equality for all people. I also ask you to go home and make sure that every single human being that you have a relationship with is registered to vote. Stop telling me that voting doesn't work. On a local level, and all politics is local. 2018, I hope that you join me to send a very clear and loud message that it is a new day in these United States of America. That no longer will we allow special interests and big donors and corporations to own our elections, that we as the American people are gonna take back democracy because it has always belonged to us, the people of these United States of America. We have never been outnumbered. Did you hear me? We have never been outnumbered, but we have been outorganized. So I ask you to flip that. That in 2018, we will out-organize the opposition, those who want to divide our communities, those who want to roll back our rights, those who want to mix religion and politics, that we will prevail in 2018 and set ourselves on a path to 2020 and win back that White House. to continue to show up. Sometimes when we hear about a rally, we say, oh man, I don't know, I'm tired today. They're not gonna miss me at that rally. No one will even know I'm not there. Imagine if five million women said that on January 21st and said nobody would miss me if I was there. Imagine if you today said they won't miss me at the individual power in our presence when we show up in the numbers and outnumber the opposition who's only a few streets away. The resistance has to continue and it has to be strong. We cannot get tired. We stand on the shoulders of giants who sacrificed for us to be able to stand here in this space there are people who died for our right to vote. There are people who died for us to have the rights that we cherish and are using today like freedom of speech. So in their honor, in their legacy, I want you to keep your voices loud and your feet on these streets. I also like to look way forward. I'm 37 years old. 80 years from now, I'm, I'm hoping I'm not on this earth. That'll be too long. And many of us might not be here 80, 100 years from now. I want you to reflect on this when you leave here today. 100 years from now, when generations ahead of us look back, what kind of story do you want people to tell about our generation? I want people a hundred years from now to say, man, those folks that were living in 2017 and 2018 and 2020, those were some courageous Americans. It is, it is because of those Americans that we can stand tall and proud a hundred years from now.